Alrighty, hello everyone. My name is Colin. Welcome to Onion Skin, and continuing on with Controlling the Beast, a mini series about the basics of using Toon Boom, using working files from one particular document. Today we're going to be having a look at the 3D space, and I'm pretty sure this is something that you should be able to do in every version that Toon Boom has to offer. Uh, the only guys who miss out, I think, is Studio and Essentials users. You can still do all the 3D, but you don't get the perspective view, which is uh, this thing. Uh, but you do get the top and side view, so that's nice. So this file is what you can see. It's a bunch of buildings. They're all layers. They're all been displaced in 3D. Uh, to be able to maneuver around this file and have a bit of a look, there's three windows that you probably need. Go to Windows up the top and open up Side, Top, and perspective. Perspective is probably the most fun one. If you hold command and option on a Mac, or I believe it would be control and alt on a Windows machine, uh, and you see these colored rings will appear, and if you click and drag, then you can rotate all the way around like that. And it's pretty, pretty fun to do that. Uh, but how do we set one of these up? So I'm gonna create a new drawing here by going down to the timeline and pressing this little button here. I'll yeah, it's called drawing, add and close, down there it appears. And in the drawing view, I'm going to choose a, a nice blue, make the brush nice and big, and draw a happy guy. Oh yeah. Look at that. All right, uh, back in the perspective view, you can see he's already appeared. Uh, on level to zero. You see, if I look at it directly from above, it's on the white line. So it's a, a Z space of zero. Three lines of access in 3D space, which is, which is X, Y, and Z. So X is typically left and right, Y is up and down, and Z is forwards and backwards. This is the same across all 3D software. Okay, so here's our character sitting in amongst the scene. How do we move him all around? Open layer properties with this layer selected, and you see there's a switch there called enable 3D. Turn that on, right click in the top toolbar here and activate advanced animation. That brings up these toolbars, and you can see with this tool selected, the XYZ axis controller thing has appeared. And I can grab that, pull him forwards, go to this frame, push it backwards. And you can see that access is now animating, but the character vanishes after the first frame because he's only there for an exposure of one. Right click and go to extend exposure. There we go, he's there for the whole time. And from the camera view, you will see that our happy man comes forwards and then moves back through the city ready to invade and crush everyone. So yep, that's it. 3D Space is pretty easy to work with. Have some fun, and I'll see you in the next one. 